Hey guys, it's R squared two two six here, or or you may call me Rahul. And today we are going to learn about robot programming. And about that we are going to learn about the combo lock. This one. So let's open this up. Okay. So, uh, first we're going to learn about the simple way of doing the combo lock. As you can see, it's really simple. All you need is a play block, a display block where you can find right here. Then you go into text. Then you can type this in. What is it okay is the code and then put this to zero again this is a really simple way you can skip forward if you want to see the awesome way to do it so you have that here then you go and get these blocks they are called a weight blocks you can find them right here go into weight but as you can see it does not show this it shows time how do you get to this you go into here where is that finding oh uh, yeah here compare brick buttons and we're gonna start with this code so it's left right up center so left and you also want to uncheck this one and by the way do not put nothing do not do that if you put nothing it'll just go on go on go on go on until it goes here so not much of a combo lock and then you keep on doing whatever code you like and then if you want to sound at the end you can just click confirm sound the co confirm Go into here, play file, Lego sound files, system, and you'll find confirm right here. So that was easy, right? So let's see this in action. Okay, so the program is now running on our robot. And it also says what is a code, like we told the program to do. Now let me check the code. It was left, right, up, and center. Now it just completed the program. But if we type a totally different code, well, it's doing nothing. But voila, it works. And how? Well, we didn't use switches and we have to use switches. Let me show you. So this is the advanced one, which should work very fine. The code might be a bit long, but hang on in there, you'll get it. First, we start with this start block. And then this light around the buttons is orange, waiting for our command. And so we also have another weight block right here, like I showed you. But now we select everything, but this one. Do not select this one. That will cause major problems. So this waits for any of the buttons to be pressed. And if the button was left, then it'd go into the true mode. 
which is right here. So it would be showing the display, making this the light around the button screen, um, making that sound to know that you got it correct, putting back to the normal dis going back to the normal display, and going back to this normal color that we started with around the buttons. But if you choose anything else, if you choose anything else but the left button, it will goes into the fall section right here, where it shows this. And don't worry, there's no curse where it's just that image. And the buttons around the the light around the brick buttons will be red, and it'll say game over, which to lets you know you're wrong. It waits for two seconds, then ends the program. And this button will be found in this tab, Stop Program. And it does this for basically everything, as you can see. Wait. Button. And the same exact thing. Wait. Again. Don't select nothing. And then this um, display will change, but that's no big deal. That's not a big deal. And then wait. And after that, you are done. You just cracked the combo. And if you want to do something, for example, if you're doing a case, you can use this exact program and go put the medium server motor if that's your little case and it can open once you did the combo like that so whatever you can keep in there imagine what you build build what you imagine yeah let's see this in action okay so we got the program running this brick Clay is orange like you told the program to do. So we'll see what happens when I get the first part of the code right. It was left. So it showed a smiley, which you just missed. Sorry. And this also turned green. So what's the next one? Right. Smiley. And then up and center we got it right so after that we can connect your motors to your EV3 brick for like a case so the medium server motor can open that case once you got everything right but what happens if we get the code wrong so let's say I press down oh dear it's blinking red and it ended the program which is exactly why that stop program is there so if a person was wrong and you didn't add the stop program they could uh, do the code with while getting everything wrong so the stop program is there to prevent that and you have to do this again and again So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it taught you something. Uh, so if you want me to do more of these videos, subscribe to me, like this video, and tell me in the comments and the discussion part of my channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you later.